Yes, students. Today we will do exercise six B of class six mathematics chapter number six. Just see, beta. Question number first is write the following amount in rupees using decimals. Okay. So just see, beta. Eight paisa we have to convert into rupees. So we know that one paisa is equal to one over hundred rupees. We know that one paisa is equal to one over hundred rupees. So eight paisa, but if we if we are converting paisa into rupees, then we will divide that particular term with hundred like this. Eight paisa we are dividing with hundred. So eight paisa is equal to eight over hundred and rupees. Okay. Now, if we want to convert this into points, how we will convert? We will see downside how much zeros are there. One, two, two zero are there. Then we will put point. We will put point before two digits. So one, two. Here eight is only one digit. I will make first it two digit by putting zero. Okay, zero eight. Then I will count one, two, and before two digit I will put point. Okay. Now. Second question is nineteen paisa. So, but I said if we have to convert this into rupees, what we have to do? We have to divide that particular digit with hundred. Okay, nineteen paisa. So, what I am doing? One paisa is equal to one over hundred rupees. Nineteen paisa is equal to nineteen over hundred rupees. That is point one nine. Just two digit are there. One two. We have to put point. Just see downside one two two zeros are there. So. We have to put point before two digit, one two. So that I am putting. Okay. Now seventy five paisa. So one paisa is equal to one upon hundred. And if we want to convert this into rupees, what we have to do? We have to divide seventy five by hundred, and we get the answer because downside two zeros are there. So upside also we will put point before two number and one. Two and then we will put point. Okay, now ten paisa. So again, what we will do same because we have to convert this into rupees. So what we will do? One paisa is equal to one over hundred rupees. So ten paisa is equal to ten over hundred rupees. That is point one zero rupees. Downside two zeros are there. So upside we will put point before two number. That is point one zero. Now this is a very important question. Question number seven. Seven uh, question number fifth that is seven rupees plus forty three paisa. Now what we will do? We will write this seven rupees plus forty three paisa. Understand what we are writing? Seven rupees plus forty three paisa. Now seven rupees is already in rupees, so no need to change this one. Okay, we have to change this pass forty three paisa. And how we will change this forty three paisa into rupees? By dividing it with Hundred. Okay, so seven rupees is already there. Point four three. I when I will divide this with hundred, I will get the answer. Point four three. How I will get the answer? Because just see, beta. Downside two zeros are there. So I will put the point before two terms. So one, two, and then I have to put. Then I will add these two, and I will get the answer. Seven point four three. Okay. Six is twenty. Eight rupees six paisa. So twenty eight rupees is always in uh, already in rupees. So we will not convert this one. What we have first we will write twenty eight rupees plus six paisa. Twenty eight rupees is all uh, already in rupees. So we will not convert this one. We will convert this six paisa into rupees. And how we will convert this six paisa into rupees by dividing this with hundred. Okay. So I get because two zeros are there. I I have to make this two digit number. How I will make by putting one zero here? So twenty eight plus point zero six. Answer is rupees twenty eight point zero six. Now, beta question number seven. What is five hundred rupees ninety five paisa? So five hundred nine. It is already in rupees. It is already in rupees. Okay. Plus ninety five paisa, and this ninety five paisa, how we will convert into rupees by dividing this ninety five paisa with hundred. Okay, five hundred we will keep like that because it is already in 
rupees and we have to convert this in whole in rupees 509 rupees and 95 paisa we have to convert it into rupee so 509 is already in rupees so we have to convert this 95 into rupees how we will convert by dividing it 100 so what i will get 120 it is there so upside before two digit before two digit i have to put point so here 509 rupees plus 0.95 okay so what is my answer 500.95 rupees now 8 is 127 rupees plus 80 paisa so 127 is always in rupees or sorry already in rupees so we will not touch this one we have to convert this 80 paisa paisa into rupees how we will convert this by dividing it with 100 so i get rupees 127.80 and my answer is 127.80 okay now question number 2 is express as centimeter we are having follows numbers in millimeter and we have to convert it into centimeter so 1 mm is equal to 1 over 10 cm how we will convert this into cm by dividing it with 10 by dividing it with 10 so 1 mm is equal to 1 over 10 cm 6 mm is equal to 6 over 10 cm 10 and before one digit i have to put point 9 mm is equal to 9 over 10 cm mm how we are converting into cm by putting 10 down side or by dividing with 10 so i get that is 1.10 uh, it is there down side and then i will put point before one number only so 9 mm is equal to 0.9 cm similarly 42 mm how i will convert by dividing it 10 if i have to convert millimeter into centimeter we have to divide that particular term with 10 so 42 mm is equal to 42 over 10 cm and just see 10 it is there that i will put point before one number so one digit sorry one digit and then i will put point so 42 mm is equal to 4.2 cm now 375 mm so 375 mm how i will convert it it into cm by dividing it with 10 so how i will put point downside only 10 it is there so upside also i will put point before only one number so i will put point before 5 375 mm is equal to 37.5 cm so student if we have to convert millimeter into centimeter then we have to divide that particular number with 10 now question number 3 is express as meter using decimals okay so send in centimeters we are having terms and we have to convert this centimeter into meter Yes, students. We know that one centimeter is equal to one over hundred meter. So we have to, if we have to convert this particular centimeter into meter, we have to divide that particular term with hundred. Okay. When we are changing millimeter into centimeter, then we are dividing by ten. And because one centimeter is equal to one over hundred meter, so we have to divide this with hundred. So seven centimeter is equal to seven over hundred meter. Now. Downside two zeros are there, so upside we have to uh, make two digit. If two digit it is not there, then we have to put one zero like this. Seven is already there, then I put one zero, and before two digits I have to put point because downside two zeros are there. Similarly, eighteen centimeter. What I am doing? Because this centimeter I have to convert into meter, then I have to divide that particular digit with. Hundred. I am dividing this hundred. Then it is eighteen centimeters equal to eighteen by hundred meter. Now points. Just see one, two, two digits are already there, and downside two zero are there. Then I have to put point before two digits. That is point one eight meter. One ninety five centimeter. If we have to convert this into into meter centimeter into meter, then I have to divide this with hundred. So one ninety five centimeter is equal to one ninety five meter. One ninety five over hundred meter. Okay. Downside two digit two zeros are there. So upside also I will count two digit before two digit. I I will put I will put point. So now five one 
टू बिफोर दिस आई विल पुट पॉइंट ओके नाउ वन थ्री टू एट सेंटीमीटर इफ आई हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस इन इट इन टू मीटर देन वट आई विल डू आई विल डिवाइड दिस टर्म विथ हंड्रेड एंड बिफोर टू डिजिट आई विल पुट जीरो आई विल पुट पॉइंट ओके सो वन थर्टीन वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट सेंटीमीटर इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन पॉइंट टू एट मीटर नाउ बेटा क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर एक्सप्रेस एस किलोमीटर यूजिंग डेसीमल सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्रेस और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट मीटर इन टू किलोमीटर देन वी हैव टू डिवाइड दैट पर्टिकुलर टर्म विथ थाउजेंड सो एट मीटर इफ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इन टू किलोमीटर देन वी हैव टू डिवाइड विथ थाउजेंड एंड वट वी हैव टू डू वी आर डिवाइडिंग विथ थाउजेंड एंड जस्ट जस्ट लिसन अप साइड ओनली वन डिजिट इट इज दियर सो वी इफ डाउन साइड इज थ्री जीरो अप साइड वी हैव टू मेक थ्री डिजिट एंड बिफोर दैट थ्री डिजिट आई हैव टू पुट पॉइंट जस्ट सी एट ओवर थाउजेंड सो एट जीरो जीरो सो एट मीटर इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट किलोमीटर now 39 meter so 39 meter if i have to make it i if i have to convert it into kilometer then i will i will divide it by 1000 so i will divide it by 1000 so i get upside only two digit are there three or nine okay now i will put one zero here okay i will make it three digit number and before three number three digit i will put point okay now 457 meter how i will convert this into kilometer by by dividing it with 1000 just see upside 1 2 3 3 digit are there and before 3 digit i have to put point okay last is 3824 meter this i have to convert into kilometer how i will make by dividing it 1000 okay so 3.824 kilometer i hope you are getting this this exercise okay up to that time be safe stay healthy thank you have a nice day